Well, um, this is a particularly nice point. They found that in surgical in, in medicine, they found that obsidian is sharper than steel. George. Well, bud. Thanks a lot, buddy. Good to and see you. And now I'm going to tootle on down the coast. Well, good travel. And go visit Mr. Lloyd Kahn. They say hello to Mr. Kahn. For <laughs> I Take certainly care. will. Thanks, George. Bye. I guess I started here in 71. Uh -huh. First, there was a dome here, and it was 100% used material, just a little shack. Yeah, this actually, this room is all used stuff, and, and actually, this is an 18 foot span with two by sixes, two feet on uh, maybe there's no, 16, 16 on center. Yeah. So, you, you and it's bouncy. I mean, the roof bounces actually. I, I cut really? two by 12s in half. So mm -hmm. a, a guy made these windows out of uh, out of wine barrel uh, redwood. Let's go. Let's go look out here. So I never take a shower in the house, and it'll even be it'll even be slightly warm on a day like this. Right. And there's something about taking a um, yeah. a shower where the water's heated by the sun that's different. Yeah. This, is a, this is a sauna. Oh yeah. Uh, with yeah. a little wood stove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are called silver sea brights, and I got them because I just fell in love with them. We've got the babies uh, over there in the separate yard. Uh, I've got about 30 of them. And a living roof over here. And then here's the greenhouse. Nice. The hollow things are... Uh, uh, Jumping choya. Choya, cactus. choya, yeah, right. The time I saw some in Arizona, I went yeah. on a mad collecting spree and filled the car with them. Well, they do seem to jump. You know, you, you can't raise all your own food. I found that out in the 70s, but... You can raise as much of it as you can. But at one time we had goats, chickens, and bees here. Right. We've got the best raspberry crop ever here. Uh, here's you the got compost. your major composting action. Scented sweet peas. Oh, yeah. Raised beds herself. I used to make them out of driftwood. What she did, she put down quarter inch mesh. Right. And then just stack the bricks, on stack the it. blocks on top, and you've got a gopher proof, you know, and raised bed. Oh, here, let me show you this. Sweet. I saw that and just fell in love with it. Beat shakes in your handle collection. Yeah. I see where you're going here. Here's the handle waiting to be used. On the know. door. You'll be interested in this. Right. The roofs on the docks of San Francisco were two by fours on edge. With a, with a tar and gravel right on top of the wood. Two by fours nailed yeah, together, yeah, right? All, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. This looks like a piece of clear redwood, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have a sentimental attachment to some. Uh, th these are all books on building. It's really a good library. This actually used to be in my shop. And this is all, this, everything, in, everything in this building is from the Navy barracks at Treasure Island. Uh, George Taylor gave me this flooring here because it was it had linoleum on the upside of it, so I right. just turned it over. This was my workshop, and then it became the office. Like, I'll put pages together like this with, with uh, scotch tape. And then, um, uh, put, sometimes I'll write the text and put in the text by hand and just kind of get it the way I want it before, before, before getting involved with the computer. The computer work is too complex for me to ever know how to do with what, like the book with 1,300 photos in it. How many tiny homes have you printed now? You're probably in your fourth printing or something Third. already. Third, we're out of stock already. Um, really? Again, I mean, I'm again. glad it's a yeah. hit, man. It's, I mean, it's so timely, tiny homes and well, us in our footprint. <laughs> well, it's timely for us because we were broke. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, actually, the, the marketing part of it is something that we're not really that great at. Uh, Luckily, with this tiny homes book, it's kind of marketing itself. Wall Street Journal put something yeah. out about it, right? That's yeah. That, okay, hello. Yeah. And the New York Times. So, I say to them, you know, look, I'm not the tiny homes guy. I'm really the guy, the, the, the build it yourself with your own hands guy. Right. That, that's really right. what I started out doing. And, and as far as tiny homes go, I mean, I'm a journalist. And I saw this movement going, and as a matter of fact, right, Shelter had five, you know, Shelter has five tiny homes in it. That's the right, part of this Right, which is the really the cool these. part. Hee <laughs> hee! So there's a, there's a library for you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, buddy. I love giving I books just, away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Reclamation Road really wants to thank the gracious Lloyd Kahn 
for letting us into his home, his office, his factory, his garden, his um, miniature town here. And you guys in Reclamation Road, we've got things to learn here. These are all about where we're going next in your town with Reclamation Road. Don't forget to write. Um, remember, we gave you the address last time. We'll give it to you again so that you can find out what it is we're really up to. Thank you.